Ricky Martin is a Puerto Rican pop musician, actor, and author who has a net worth of $130 million. After a long and successful career, Ricky Martin has earned the moniker King of Latin Pop. With over 70 million record sales worldwide, he is one of the most commercially successful Latin artists. Martin's work in the late 90s is credited with bringing Latin Pop into the mainstream of U.S. music culture. Outside of acting, Martin has achieved considerable success as an actor. Early Life Enrique Martin Morales was born on December 24 of 1971 in San Juan. Puerto. His father was a psychologist, and he was raised in a Roman Catholic household alongside four brothers and one sister. Enrique's parents divorced when he was just two years old. His passion for singing began at an early age, and by the age of six, he was singing along to his favorite pop songs both Latin and English. Enrique's grandmother was a poet, and he was inspired by her to start writing his own songs. The beginning of a marvelous music career. After participating in three auditions in 1984, Martin was invited to become a member of the Latin boy band Menudo. In 1985, he gave his debut performance at the Louis A. Fair Performing Arts Center in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Following the completion of 11 albums, he left the band in 1989, when he was just 17 years old, and moved back to Puerto Rico to complete his secondary education. After that, he decided to pursue a career in acting and singing. So he enrolled at the Tisch School of the Arts at New York University, which is located in New York City. Ricky Martin was his first solo album to be released in Spanish, and it was released by Sony Discos in 1991. It was an instant success on the Latin music charts. Mia Mara's, his second solo album, was released the same year in 1993. During his one night only with Ricky Martin tour in 2006, he gave performances in countries all over the world, including those in Latin America, the United States of America, Europe, and Africa. In the interim, he gave a performance at the closing ceremony of the Winter Olympics in Turin, Italy, in 2006. 2010 saw the release of his autobiography, which he dubbed me, and it quickly rose to the top of the New York Times bestseller list. It was the year 2011 that he released the album Musica, Alma, Sixo which went on to become the most successful Latin album ever on the Billboard Top Albums chart, Personal Life. In 2008, Ricky Martin fathered twin boys via a surrogate mother. Although Ricky Martin was in a relationship with Mexican TV host Rebecca de Alba for over a decade, he publicly came out as gay in 2010. He later clarified that he is attracted to both men and women, but only wants to have romantic relationships with men. After dating Jay Wayne Yosef in 2016, the couple married and later had two children together. Ricky's net worth and assets. Ricky Martin is living la vida low key. Having just wrapped up a blockbuster musical residency in Las Vegas, the Puerto Rican superstar is embracing the laid back lifestyle of his adoptive home of Los Angeles, where he can spend time with fiance J. Wayne Yosef and their nine year old twins, Mario and Valentino, in the family's gorgeous new Beverly Hills home. We were considering living in London or New York City, but then we decided to rent in Los Angeles for a month to get a feel for the vibe. Yosef, a Syrian-born Swedish artist tells Architectural Digest in the February cover story. L. Totally caught us off guard. We loved it. By the end of the month, we knew we wanted to be here. The house hunt lasted a whopping three days, and they ended up buying the first place they visited a 3,000-square-foot modernist build from 1,953. Martin purchased the place for $13.5 million in November 2016, according to ArchDigest.com. Even though the house had been greatly expanded over the years, we still wanted to respect its original vision, the clean lines, the openness, and the sense of calm. Martin says, they called on designer, an opera protege Nate Berkus, who they met through mutual friends, to give the home an updated yet respectful refresh. In fact, they asked for just the essentials since they would need to move in just two months after closing. We weren't interested in a completely decorated home with a specific look done to the last detail. We wanted to get the basics covered so it would be comfortable for us and the kids. But we left plenty of room for the house to grow and evolve in the years to come, Yosef tells AD. One addition that's still to come is a special request from Matteo and Valentino a backyard tree house. There is so much potential for crafting a vibrant, creative environment for our family, Martin explains. You can never be sure what the future will bring, but I can't wait to find out. The house is a stunning gathering place for them. Martin notes, it's not the address that makes the place a refuge. Our kids are stable when we're together, he says. Wherever we happen to be, that's home.